It's Brighton TV and this is the match preview for Brighton vs Southampton and we know how important this game is. If we beat them, we get three more points, they drop three points which makes our survival hopes look so much more better and it looks like if we do beat them, we will be able to focus on the FA Cup and hopefully get a place in the FA Cup final. And we know Southampton are a strong side on their day. They beat Tottenham 2-1 a couple of weeks ago. But they are a really inconsistent side. Which is the difference between us and Southampton I'd say. Because we're a lot more consistent. We get more draws, more wins. But Southampton on their day they can be amazing. But if they're not they can be terrible. So we need to hope that they're on a bit of a dip after the international break. And we get really good, get a win get ourselves closer and closer to survival. And with Florian and Done facing a late fitness test, we do have a chance to have one of our best uh, signings to be able to play in this match, probably off the bench, but still it's better than nothing. And with Pascal Gross, he's still injured and it looks like he won't feature much for the rest of the season. But we do have a really fixture congested season, eight games in 20 uh, nine days which is so much so it looks like injuries we cannot afford any injuries because if it's two weeks that might be four games which is way too much games to miss when it could sometimes be two games and we know it's a really important time of the season right at the end so we need to play I hope be able to play our best side again and again and again and again but we've been used to the championship from a couple of years ago, so we should be able to handle that. And hopefully we play really, really well for this game. And with us, we've definitely had a good uh, dip in form upwards, with us winning five of our last seven games in all competitions, which is a lot better than it was before, with us getting six Premier League points in our last two games, compared to only six in our last 12 games before that, which just shows how much a difference confidence can be for our side and we know with players like Solly March, Lacadia, Dan Budd they've been playing really well recently so they do have their chance to knock on the door for the side and with me thinking I think a player like Ryan obviously first pick always Ryan to play then in defence you have the wing backs um, Bernardo recently always over Bonk Bong is an okay player, he just makes so many mistakes, which is the main difference between, between him and Bernardo, which is really bad for us. And we know Dunk, against Palace he was incredible, and against Millwall he was really good. So Dunk and Duffy, both of them outstanding players, we need both of them to play. And uh, Bruno or Montoya, it is uh, debatable, but I think Montoya should play because he's just more consistent throughout the season. And through the midfield, obviously, Stevens, um, Proper, and Basuma over Kyle because there's no gross. And I just think Basuma sometimes he makes mistakes. But game against a team like Southampton, he can really push forward. So I think him, he can be really good in our attack with us being able to move a ball from defence to attack really quickly. He is needed. And a player like Knockout and March, as I said, March, he scored that last kick of the game equaliser versus Millwall and also converting the penalty, which made us look stay in the tie. So I think March has to play with Knockout. And I don't think they should stay uh, like March left wing, Knockout right. I think they every like 15 minutes or so, they should swap wings just to confuse their defence. So then they look like oh, they don't know what they're doing because our d attack will look too much for them. And with um, a player like Glenn Murray against Southampton, he always seems to do well. So I think Murray uh, should start over Lacadia. With Lacadia, I just think he needs a couple more games. And with the Chelsea game coming up in the midweek, I think he should play then with a lot of the other players because we all of them are really good and all of them are getting a good... Uh, form so I think it's good for us even with the fixture congestion we do have the team right now in form to be able to play that and Southampton we know they have a very good 
midfielder James Ward fouls. We need to look out for him and don't give away any lead needless uh, free kicks because he is dangerous on set pieces. So we can't make uh, give them any set pieces from a goal shooting range because otherwise that's dangerous because he can score so many free kicks. He's an amazing free kick taker, one of the best in the Premier League. So we can't give any needless free kicks. And for my score predictions for this match, the Southampton match normally is a very high scoring game. So I'd say 3-2 Brighton, very high scoring. Their defence isn't their best and sometimes our defence looks a bit wobbly. So I just think 3-2 with a Murray, he always scores against Southampton. What else do I say? And he's been playing really well recently. Um, March and Knockout. Both of our wingers, they've been playing exceptionally well. So I think that point of them will score. James Ward fouls, I think he'll score for, for Southampton. And I think somebody like, and I also think he might score another goal from open play just because their team sometimes, it, when they attack, they look really promising. So we need to be able to contain them really, really well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brighton TV and follow us on Instagram.